Hiya folks, hope you're all well. I wanted to do a quick video because I've had a few questions on the YouTube channel about what version of the software I use and what do I recommend and should new beginners start on 2.68 uh, until they get to know the machine and then go up to 2.77 or what do I think? Or should they go to 2.78? What are the thoughts? Well, I thought if I've had two questions like this already, then there must be people out there thinking the same thing that just haven't asked the question yet. My thoughts are 2.77. Do the update. There's a few reasons for that. One of which is you get the mute button. Now you may have a pulse dive and you may have the headphones, the wireless headphones, and you may say, I don't need the mute button because I've set the frequency on my pulse dive and it's correct or I've got the wireless headphones, so I don't need it. Um, there will come a day you will forget your headphones at home. I've done it. There will come a day that your battery will die on your headphones. I've done it, and they can't be used while charging. Um, there'll come a day that your pulse dive will, battery will run out and you'll have to borrow a different one. There will come a day, and having that mute button to have it is just, it's it's worth having. Um, all of the other features you get that they have added in, the, the soil magnetization meter that you get, that's worth having. Uh, the additional coils. Now you may say, I'm brand new, I don't need any additional coils. When the bug bites you, and it will, unlike these midges around me, um, you will get it and you will want the coil and it's there. But the most important reason to me is if you go to 2.78, you lose ability with your detector that you can just tune out. And if you suddenly need it, you can't get it back unless you put your detector onto a computer. If you happen to be out and you come across a field that is really, really quiet and you don't understand why, um, it's just a really, really quiet field and you could really use that depth of the seven sensitivity, but you've put on 2.78, you can't get to it. It's not there. Um, you've put a limiter on your hot rod and it's not available. If you have 2.77, you can turn your sensitivity down. You can choose different modes. There's ways you can take the chatter out. There's ways that you can take the jumpy VDI out without actually throttling your machine permanently. So, I think go up from 2.68 to 2.77 because it's an important update. They did a lot of changes. It's the machine they would have liked to make from the start. It's got the mute button. It's got the ability to change the brightness on the back of the screen. It's got, you know, the mineralization. It's got the extra depth if you need it. Um, don't go to 2.78 because yes, you will get all of those things but you will throttle it and you will not be able to get that back unless you put your machine onto a computer, which we don't carry around with us. So isn't it better to have that power in reserve and just not use it than to install something on your hot rod that throttles it that means you can't use it unless you go back to the mechanic, so to speak, and have it removed. That's my thoughts. Please let me know what you think below in the comments. Um, I would always recommend if your field is too chatty, you know, just turn your sensitivity down. Try a different mode so you're not going so deep. Um, because if it's too chatty, you're not going to hear the signals anyway. If you go to 2.78, um, okay, you're not going to hear the chatty. Um, you wouldn't hear the chatty if you turn it down in 2.77. But you've always got it in reserve to turn on if you need it. And that's what I think is important. So that's my thoughts. Let me know what you think. Have a great day. Happy hunting.